Favorite subject in school is art class, obviously. What is one thing no one knows about you? One thing no one knows about me is that I'm an only child. Dream country to visit? Maldives. Why do you choose UNICEF as your charity? Uh, I think people take for granted in America that we get to go to school, but kids in other countries like Syria don't get to go to school and I mean that kind of sucks so I feel like every child deserves a chance which is kind of what UNICEF is known for. Oh, nice. Most adventurous thing you've done in your life? Uh, climb the Hollywood Hills in California. What's your favorite piece of clothing you own? My Vans. Best piece of advice you've received? Don't get too caught up on things. If it's not gonna matter in three days, don't worry about it. What is your favorite piece of art you created? Favorite piece of art I created is my Leonardo DiCaprio painting. Come on, I'll show you. Also, this is Rusty, by the way. He hey, Rusty. So this painting I did last semester, and it's a painting of Leonardo nice. DiCaprio. <laughs> What is the skill you're working on mastering? Patience, definitely. What's one song you can listen to on repeat? Uh, favorite part by Mac Miller. Twitter or Instagram? Both. If you had a tattoo, where would it be? Somewhere where you couldn't see it because my parents would kill me. Dogs or cats? Dogs. If you had one superpower, what would it be? The ability to stop time so I could sleep in whenever I want. Sweet or savory? Savory. What is your favorite beverage? Iced coffee. What's your favorite movie? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith or anything from the 80s. Who was your first celebrity crush? My first celebrity crush was Selena Gomez. Current celebrity crush? Bella Hadid. Name one thing on your bucket list. Uh, hmm. I really, really, really want to meet Bella Hadid. What is one food you'll never get tired of? Uh, sushi. If you could swap clothes with anyone, who would it be? Kanye West. Final question. What is one piece of advice people need to hear? I think people should not try to grow up as fast. I feel like all these kids are trying to be grown and adults, but enjoy being a teenager for now. Nice. So, yeah. Thanks for answering some questions for us. Thanks. Me and Rusty say hi. But <laughs> TV, be more funny. Uh, do you have a band-aid? Because I just scraped my knee falling for you. No, you might want to go to the nurse. Oh. <laughs>Sir Shamrock is a charity event run by National Honor Society. Over the years, Sir Shamrock has raised the money and awareness for American Cancer Society, Alzheimer's Society, Shriver Pediatric Hospital, the Humane League, and many more organizations that help support our society needs. Each Sir Shamrock candidate will try to win your support and donations for their charity. This year, our candidates are Seth Bollinger, hey. Ethan Brubaker, hey. Aaron Cummings, AJ Morales, and Mark Shishkovsky. You can vote for your favorite candidate by placing your extra change or dollars in their charity jugs at lunch this week, March 12th through 16th. At the end of the competition, Sir Shamrock candidate with the most donations will win the contest. Be crowned Sir Shamrock live right here on the Effort AM and make a huge donation. Huge donation of all the money raised by all five candidates to his chosen charity. Stay tuned this coming week for videos from each Sir Shamrock candidate. They will share with you why you should use your donations to vote for their charity. Don't forget to vote at lunch this week. Today, a representative from Shippensburg University will be here at 1.15. Any students interested in meeting with this representative, please see Mrs. Ditzler in the counseling office. 
Attention seniors, the Ephrata National Bank scholarships, including the Hipschman Scholarship, are now open. Log on to Navion's Family Connection to complete your applications. Apply today and get free money for college. Applications and all materials are due by March 31st. You've probably noticed some changes as we pack up the media center for some renovation. The time has come. All class, study halls, flex, obligation time, NHS passes, etc., etc., will no longer be accepted to the library beginning March 19th. The last day to use the media center and its resources for any reason is tomorrow, March 16th. Thanks you for understanding as we prepare to create a fantastic space for you all and not the seniors. Test your luck with the new Friends of Rachel Club Challenge. Two dark green shamrocks are hidden somewhere around the school. Be the lucky one to find a hidden shamrock and you'll receive a gift card to either Fox Meadows Creamery or Subway. I found it! I found it! Seth, I don't think that's the same one. <laughs> I found it! <laughs> Good job, Seth. I guess. Lucky shamrocks are in common areas such as the halls, cafe, or media center, not in individual classrooms. Turn your lucky shamrock into Mrs. Hall in room 124 to claim your prize. Good luck, EHS. Now, over to Seth with the news. <laughs> Dishonest media, they'll say... Ah! Hello, all you news people. Anyway, sorry about that. A special election in Pennsylvania's 18th Congressional District has produced rather surprising results. The vote count came to 113,813, or 49.8% for Lamb, to 113,186 votes, which was 49.6% for Saccone. Whoa! That's really close. With 100% of precincts reporting, Connor Lamb, the Democratic candidate, has pulled through victorious by an astounding margin of 627 votes. Because of this, the election is still too close to call, and as a few thousand absentee ballots have yet to be counted, and they may swing the election in Saccone's favor. Although this is unlikely, it is still possible. Regardless of the outcome, the vote will most likely trigger trigger a recount as the margin is uniquely small. Beware the Ides of March. According to Thomas North's nonfiction work, The Lives of the Noble Grecians and Romans, and Shakespeare's tragedy, Julius Caesar, today marks the anniversary of Caesar's assassination, assassination in the year 44 BC. Caesar was a very influential leader in Rome, and his peers feared he was becoming too powerful and wasn't responsible or trustworthy enough to handle it. As many as, as many as 60 conspirators were involved, and the assassination only contributes to the reputation that the Ides of March, or the middle of the month, is an unlucky day. Now over to the main desk with lunch. Today on the lunch menu is a sloppy joe with a whole grain roll. Shrimp poppers with dip with yogurt or string cheese, and a whole grain roll with margarine. Quattro cheese or buffalo chicken pizza. Grilled chicken Caesar wrap. Crispy chicken salad. Fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin. Tossed salad. French fries. Fresh broccoli or cucumbers and dip. Chilled pears, fresh fruit, or... In spring sports resorts, tennis was postponed. Congratulations to Kyla McKim, who has been selected to play in the Lancaster Lebanon League All-Star Game. The game will be played on Tuesday, March 27th at 6 p.m. in the Hemfield High School. Congratulations to Gabby Drolla Hill, who was named as a second team Section 2 All-Star, and also to Candace Liebel, who was named as an honorable mention. Congratulations to all three girls on these accomplishments. Today in sports, girls lacrosse and softball both have scrimmages. Now back to the main desk. Why are you still on me? <laughs> this isn't what it's for. A reminder to all students currently enrolled in AP courses tomorrow, Friday, March 16th, is the register for this year's AP exams. If you're interested, be sure to see your AP teacher or stop by the counseling office for an exam order form. ASAP, see the student bulletin board. If you do not have this form in your $15 deposit, 
for each exam you, that you are planning on taking by the end of the day Friday, we cannot order an exam form for you. If you have questions, please make an appointment to see your counselor through Mrs. Ditzer right away. Ninth grade future leaders. Sounds like you, Ryan Jansen. Uh, Hope your uh, leadership is looking for ninth graders Jensen. at EHS to attend a one-day leadership workshop in Lancaster on Saturday, April 14th. This is an excellent opportunity to develop your leadership skills and connect with other future leaders. To be considered to attend, submit a one-paragraph essay to the guidance office on the following topic by Monday, March 19th. The topic is, explain why you would like to attend the leadership workshop and how you will use the leadership skills developed there to improve EHS. This is Avedum Spirit Week. Our theme for this Avedum Spirit Week is we are lucky to have you. Uh, <laughs> lucky. Wear color. Today's theme is Heritage Day. You can wear colors or flags from where you're from. Don't forget your pay for our pay monies. Parfaits are available in the lobby after school on Tuesday. Today, March 15th. Did you hear that? Parfaits, today, after school, in the lobby. Support your Vietnam club. Friday, Vietnam Day. Wear your Vietnam shirts. Wear yellow and black. Credits. Roll credits. Let's go. I found one, I found one too. I found one. No, guys, go to Mrs. One. Hall. 124. Room 124. That's not even the. No. Which one on it? Look at it. No, There's it's a not, tiny it's not one on it.